get your mother a gift. You can surprise her with this drawing of flowers. So, first step we're going to do is we're going to draw slanted lines here. And then you're going to go over. Draw another slanted line here. You're going to take this slanted line at the point here and the point here. You're going to take a curved line. And connect it. At the point one and point two, Take another slanted line and then stop. Now, draw a line from here to here. It's kind of curved. Once you have that connected, you're going to draw a line to the vase here and here. It's going to be your table. Going around the side of your vase, you're going to start with a circle here. Another circle. Another circle. Another one on this side. Going all the way around the base. Inside these circles, we're going to go back and draw another circle inside. One, two, three, four, five. Going around these circles, you're going to begin to add your petals. You can make them any size you want to. They can be big, they can be small. I'm going to do mine like these. A real easy way to draw petals. Not too difficult. One other one, you can change it also. You can do different types if you want to do maybe rectangle shaped ones, that's fine. You can also go back and do zigzag ones if you want. But it's up to you. Go back and then connect these lines going in. Side over here, you can do more curved lines again. You can make them bigger if you want. Now, Next step, each 
flower with the petals going to have a stem. The stem is going to go from the side into the vase. So here you're going to curve it into the vase so it's like leaning out. But you're going to add two lines to make the stem thicker or seem thicker. This one here, same concept. Over here, two lines going into the top of the vase. Then again, curve it into your vase. Now, next step. Going back now, on your stem, you will add the leaves of the flowers. So, you can draw a curve line here. Curve it back down. Go up a little bit. Same thing. Curve it out. Curve it back down. Go a little further, a little lower. Go back now into your leaves and draw the veins of the leaf. One line, two slanted lines. Curve it a little bit, then come straight out on both sides. Curve it up, two lines coming out. Or you can add more if you want to. It's up to you. But this is the concept. Curve it, slant it, slant it. Curve it, slant, 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 slant. Curve it again here. Going back towards the vase to make it look more like a real vase. You're gonna curve the line here. Keep going. Curve it down. And here you have your vase. You can go back now and you can sign your name on the side here. Uh, it's up to you. So you have your table, you have your vase, you have your flowers. You can go back also and write for your mother or for the woman in your life who takes care of you, whether it's your aunt, whether it's your grandmother, your mother, stepmother, and write H A. P, P, Y, M, O, T, H, E, R, S, D, A, Y. Happy Mother's Day.
also before I forget, go back and add your petals on the last flower here. I almost forgot this one. And there you have your flowers. If you want to go back, you can add some more circles inside. It's up to you. This is what they call action line. Just to give your flowers some movement, make them seem like they're vibrant. Action line, just accent the lines that they are around. give the illusion of movement in your drawing. And there you have it. Tell your mothers or women in your lives that help take care of you, happy Mother's Day. We will meet again next Sunday. I look forward to seeing your drawings. Thank you. Have a good day.